the meditation of divine kapur one more reading verse 174 of shri shri radha rasa sudhani aho i know 
a sweet, effulgent couple named Radha Mohana, who are the wonderful forms of love, who are bound to each other with a tight knot of mutual affection, and who experience a moment of supposed separation, who experience a moment of supposed separation to be more burning than millions of blazing fires of destruction in their bodies, inside and outside. Aho, I know the sweet, effulgent couple named Radha Mohana, who are the wonderful forms of love, who are bound to each other with a tight knot of mutual affection and who experience a moment of supposed separation to be more burning than millions of blazing fires of destruction in their bodies, inside and outside. Shishirada Mohana are making love in a lovely kunja in Vrindavana. It is as if they are tightly bound by a knot of sneha. Shilarupa Goswami defines sneha in his Uchvalani Lamana. When Prema reaches its pinnacle, it begins to illuminate the transcendental object of love and it causes the heart to melt. This is known as sneha. When that sneha arises, the lover is never satisfied, even if he sees or touches the beloved. Shirada has the Madhyata attitude towards Krishna, thinking, you are mine, the most elevated feeling. This, this most elevated feeling is called Madhu Sneha. It is sweet of itself. It is a collection of different transcendental flavors. It is warm and intoxicating, and it is very firm, Gadha. Deep, must deep, very deep. Sweet madhus neha, sweet deep thinking, deepness of love. <clears throat> this is Sri Rupa Goswami's teaching. I'll read it. Shirada has the Madhyata attitude towards Krishna, thinking you are mine. This most elevated feeling is called Madhu Sneha. It is sweet of itself. It is a collection of different transcendental flavors. It is warm and intoxicating. And it is very firm. Gada. Gada means Gada. Deep. Thick, very thick. Very condensed. Condensado. Condensado is that. It's special. You are mine. Where is me? You cannot see this. It's very rare. No puedo ver esto. Es muy raro. When you say you are mine. You feel you are mine. It's very deep 
and very sweet. Es muy profundo y muy dulce. And deep love. El amor profundo. And deep rasa is there. El amor profundo y el rasa profundo están ahí. Normally, Normalmente, we say we are your. Decimos, yo soy tuyo. That not create rasa. Eso no crea rasa. Sweetness. Dulzura. You expect something Tú estás algo in that love. En ese tipo de amor. That make madhyata means madness. Esto crea madhyata, que la mente se enloquece. Hmm. Wow. Shripada says, Shri Yogala is tightly bound Atado. by the knot of mutual sneha in the kunta. In the devotional scriptures, different explanations have been given of the word anubandha, and all of them are applicable here. One meaning is attachment. The lovers cannot get enough of touching and seeing each other, and their attachment to each other's forms, qualities, and natures always increases. Poet Vidyapati sings, O Madhava, you are the mirror in my hand, the flowers in my hair, the eyeliner around my eyes, the beetle leaves in my mouth, the mask on my breast, the necklace around my neck, the all in all for my body, and the best thing in my house. You are the life of my life. As a bird needs its wings, and the fish needs water, birds need wings to fly. And the fish need water. And you need the Read this line again. O Madhava, you are the mirror in my hand. The flowers in my hair. The eyeliner around my eyes. The beta leaves in my mouth. The musk on my breast. The necklace around my neck, the all in all for my body, and the best thing in my house. You are the life of my life. La vida de mi vida. As a bird needs its wings, and the fish needs water. Oh, tell me, what am I to you? They both belong to each other. Like two flowers, Radha and Mohana are bound to the string of strong attachment to each other. Another meaning of the word Anubandha, Anubandha can be Abhinivesh, Abhinivesh. The knot of love is the result of deep absorption in lila rasa, the flavor of pastimes coming from this deep affection. Also then, one is unsatiated 
and very thirsty for love. No one has as much of this divine thirst. As Radha and Mohana. The word Anu Bandha also means Bandhana, bondage, Agraha, eagerness, Paripati, Paripati, expertise, and even more. All these meanings are applicable to this verse. The bondage of the young couple's natural love. Is very firm and genuine, full of wonderful expertise and full of eagerness, and it ties them together like two flowers on strings of love. When there is even the slightest thought of separation, the young couple feels a burning sensation which is even hotter than millions of moments of separation, mm. the millions of fires of universal cataclysm. No material words can describe this feeling. Even a fraction of a moment of separation is in is intolerable. Shishuka Muni says, when the gopis saw Krishna, they cursed the Creator for making eyelashes on their eyes so that they could not constantly stare at him. This mood is manifest to the utmost in Radha and Mohana. When they are united, they don't even accept sandal-based or garlands on their bodies, for that will interrupt their mutual touch. Even when the gopis, who have an extramarital relationship with Krishna, meet with him, they experience separation from him. And that mood is manifested to the utmost in Shiradik. Madanakya Mahabhava Prema Kunja Prema Murti Radha Krishna Pranapati Yukta Bhave Jugala Ratana Gadha Snehe Rai Khani Abadha Gratiha Jana Aparupa Madhura Milan Radha and Krishna the forms of love, the two jewels, Rai, Kanu, are bound in a knot of deep mutual affection as they sweetly meet each other in a wonderful kunja of love. When Pramodini, blissful Radha, and Pita Vasa Damodar are feeling separated from each other for even a fraction of a moment. They are burning inside. They are burning inside out in the fire of universal destruction. Radhika and Mohana are the most clever lovers of the three worlds and they are the ever so sweet abodes of rasa with great jeweled 
verses and rhymes. Shripad Brahmodananda sings of the sweetness of this couple. This is the end of verse 174. Rathe, 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 Rath